This is Joe. Thanks for stopping by. I created an illustration called Color the Lumbar Line. This is my rendition of the vertebral column. Now please recall in the previous lecture, Location Matters, we talked about cerebral gray and white matter. We talked about gray and white matter in the spinal cord. Now concerning the cross-sectional anatomy of the spinal cord, we talked about how the H shape changes, or some may state the butterfly shape changes. This is in regards to the two dimensions of length and width. When we observe, when we observe, excuse me, length, width, and height of the gray matter, we run into terms such as dorsal horn column, lateral horn column, ventral horn column, and intermediate column. When talking about gray matter and white matter in the spinal cord, the vertebral column is also referenced. Early on in my studies, I had a hard time remembering the order of the bones that constitute the spine, so I made up an acronym for C, T, and L. C is for cervical, T is for thoracic, and L is for lumbar. So I created color the lumbar line. Important to know is that the number of bones in each region correspond to common meal times of a 1950s diet. For instance, cervical, 7 a.m., thoracic, 12 noon, lumbar, 5 p.m. Make sense? I hope this helps you in your future studies.